I'm Lisa Rally, and this is your wake up call. Keep it real, powered by Ned Group Life. Let's make it happen. What if somebody could just wave a magic wand and grant you all your wishes? What happens if that wasn't as far-fetched as it seems? Well, meet Donna McCallum, the fairy godmother, who's making a living by doing just that. Donna, please can you explain wigs to us? Sure, Lisa. Wig is a wildly improbable goal. And a wildly improbable goal is different from a normal goal. Normal goals are realistic, they're achievable, they're measurable. A wildly improbable goal is something that ignites you and delights you and excites you and terrifies you all at the same time. So it's very different to your original SMART goals. Exactly, it's completely different. It's the difference between having a red Ferrari and a Volkswagen Beetle. Why is it so important for people to have dreams and goals? Dreams and goals really give you direction in life and they give you a path to focus on and a place to go to. They give you a sense of purpose. And really, if you have no idea where you're going, then how are you ever gonna get there? Do you think that stress has a big part to play in stifling people's dreams and desires? I think it's not only stress, it's also fears that people have. You see, from our teenage days, we start to constrain our dreams. We're told that we're not smart enough to do things or we don't have enough money to do things. And then we have bills to pay at the end of the month and we think, oh, I can't live my big dreams and goals. What about my bills? And so all these fears contribute to us stopping from living our dreams. And where to from now? You have a goal and then a dream and then what? Well then you've got to start taking what I call aggressive action. You've got to take amazing crazy action to start making it happen. But one of the things that I teach in my workshops is an amazing visualization technique. It's not just visualization, I call it a future imagined memory. So it's about creating a little story about what your goal looks like when it's done. And then every day for 30 days you lie in bed and you close your eyes when you wake up in the morning and you jump into that story and you experience it with all five of your senses. And that one is one of the first ways to program the mind and focus the mind on this goal. Because our minds are incredible missiles. If you give them a direction and you give them a point to focus to, they work at how to make that happen. Is it important to practice these techniques on a regular basis? Absolutely. I mean, as a fairy godmother, I do it for my own life every, every morning. Uh, whether it's creating your week, whether it's creating a big goal that you have, whether it's creating your year. Or the man of your dreams. Or the man of your <laughs> dreams, exactly, exactly. Can you share with us some of your success stories? I uh, have been fortunate over the last four years of being a fairy godmother to have had over two and a half thousand people go through my workshops. And uh, all sorts of big dreams and goals have started to come true, from people recording albums. I've had three women write children's books and have them published. People starting their own businesses. I've had people who found their soulmates through, through doing my workshops. It's amazing. Because stress stifles our desires and our dreams so much, what are some simple things people can do from home that'll help with this? Okay, well one of the little prezzies that I've got for you today are these incredible stress relieving bubbles. And this is just something fun. I mean, most of you did this when you were five or six or seven yeah. years old. This is, you just blow any stress, worries, irritations, frustrations that you have into these bubbles. So Joe Big Traffic, here we go. Exactly, exactly. It's fun, I feel like a kid again. Absolutely. And one of the things that it actually does is it gets you to start breathing again. So as you're blowing the bubbles, you start breathing deeply. And one of the ways to alleviate stress very quickly is to, is to breathe. How can we find out a little bit more information on setting dreams and goals? You can go onto my website, fairygodmother.co.za, and you can find out all details. I've got lots of tips and tricks and articles. And then also in my book, so you can find out how to create your wildly improbable goals. And uh, the book is called The Fairy Godmother's Guide to Getting What You Want. And that's available in bookstores around South Africa. And now for today's financial savvy tip. Make sure you decide what type of financial protection you need. If you don't have any financial dependence, you can take out income protection in case you can't work due to illness. Don't forget to log on to our website, keepitreal.coza, for the chance to win amazing daily and weekly prizes. Remember, it's never too late to start dreaming about your wildly improbable goals. Just start dreaming them up, believe that they're possible, and get ready to receive them. Good luck from me, Lisa Rally. This is Keep It Real. Until next time. Keep it real. Brought to you by Ned Group Life. Let's make it happen.